Hello and welcome to the third module of Hadoop, Advanced HDFS. In the previous module, we learned about the basic concepts of HDFS. We learned about the working of HDFS components and fault tolerance in Hadoop 1.0 and Hadoop 2.x. We also discussed about the horizontal ceiling by adding many name nodes in HDFS federation. We learned about HDFS commands through which file operations like copy, open, delete, etc can be performed. In this session, we will discuss the file systems other than HDFS that are supported by Hadoop. The interface for file system is developed using Java, so we will take a brief overview of it. This session will proceed further with the discussion about optimal placement of data with the help of network topology and distance. The data flows for reading and writing are discussed in detail to get an idea about interaction between different HDFS components. We will discuss replica placement, parallel copying, Hadoop archive and cluster balance at the end of the session. As a Hadoop professional, you must know all of these concepts thoroughly. So are you ready to take this deep dive? Does Hadoop support only HDFS? The answer is no. HDFS is one of the file systems that Hadoop supports. There are other file systems as well. File systems supported in Hadoop. Take a look at the table here. This table represents different file systems and their Java implementations. That is the class responsible for its proper working. Local. Every machine has a separate file system. For example, NTFS, FAT, ext4 etc this is known as the local file system we can use a local file system in a hadoop cluster using its java implementation fs.local file system it can be described as a file system for a locally connected disk with client side checksum checksum is a technique to make sure that there is no error in the data hdfs hdfs is the default distributed file system of hadoop it means that while setting up Hadoop system, if you do not specify file system, then by default, HDFS will be considered. HFTP. If you wish to access the HDFS from some machine using HTTP, then all the files are provided as read-only files. This implementation is known as HFTP. HSFTP. Now, HSFTP is nothing but HFTP with secure access. Let's understand this using an example. Someone has to access the Hadoop cluster of a bank that has all the banking and transaction data of that bank. Now, this information is sensitive. Therefore, a secure system must be used. In that case, HSFTP file system will be implemented. But this also is going to be read-only. Web HDFS. In case of Web HDFS, a Hadoop cluster can be accessed as well as modified. In the previous ones, it was only read-only. Now, it is read and write. This file system will allow us to access the HDFS files using secure HTTP for read and write. Let's take an example of a newspaper. The writer of an article and the editor both need to access to read and write. Also, the access has to be secure and no one else can be allowed to use it. HAR. Archiving involves compressing a file before storing it. It is like creating a zip file. It is important to note that Whichever file system Hadoop uses, the data stored in its blocks are always compressed and then stored. Needless to mention, this saves storage space. Whenever a particular block in Hadoop cluster is accessed, by default the data gets uncompressed and then it is read. So HAR file system is used for archiving files. KFS for Cloud Store KFS is intended to be used as the backend storage infrastructure for data intensive apps such as search engines, data mining, grid computing, etc. FTP 